I wanted to show you uh, some of the different tabs here on the bottom of the customer form that are not included in other uh, tutorial videos. Um, you'll notice that there's a whole lot of these uh, tabs that you get with the management option and some of these are covered in other videos but some are not so let's just take a look we do cover the forms tab in various uh, instruction videos and the email tab has its own video uh, this notes tab is just a place for you to keep track of um, anything that you would want to note about uh, your relations with this customer The signature tab uh, does have its own um, video as well. Uh, the personal tab is just the basic personal information about this customer, birthday, age, um, social security number, gender, uh, employer, driver's license number, just all of that uh, personal information. The dependents tab allows you to add dependents for this customer. Um, I'll pull up one that I've already added so you can take a look at uh, what that looks like here. If you uh, wanted to add a new dependent, you would click this button. If you wanted to edit one or look at the information for one that you already have entered, you just click this and it just shows you um, how you can enter the information about that dependent uh, and then they'll appear in a list here. And you can order the list uh, by clicking these headings across the top. Um, and you can click them twice to go in ascending or descending order. Um, you have a spouses tab that has basically a similar information to what's on the personal tab, uh, but except about the spouse for this person. So you've got their anniversary, you've got the spouse's social security number and employer and birthday and driver's license number, email and phone um, there under the spouses tab. This transactions tab uh, gives you a chance to enter any um, information about uh, different dealings and communications that you've had, transactions that you've had with uh, this customer. Uh, you can add a transaction here. So you've got your transactions list uh, there and you can again reorder those um, by clicking on the various headings. Um, you also have a vehicles tab. This allows you to list all of the vehicles under this customer's record and it also will allow you then to pre-populate the information about these vehicles into the forms uh, that they need to go into. Um, so let me show you how it records that information. I'm going to select one of the vehicles that I have already entered and just show you what the vehicle screen looks like here. You'll see that you have lots of information that you can um, enter about this vehicle and the type of insurance um, that this vehicle has. Um, all of this information on this form uh, corresponds to various Accord forms that have to do with vehicles. Um, not every form has all of this information on it, but some of them would have uh, different parts of this information. And you'll be able to um, add vehicles um, to the forms as needed. Adding a vehicle to a form is actually covered in the Accord Forms instruction video, uh, but this is where you would have recorded all of the, the information and you don't have to enter it again on every form. Very similarly, you have a drivers tab here um, where you can enter uh, your drivers um, with their personal information. Um, and again, that information can then be um, added into a, an applicable form about drivers. Um, so you've got all the information stored here on your customer screen and you don't have to type it in individually into each form. 
communications tab just allows you to keep track of uh, various communications for your customer. And you can add things to your list there and uh, keep track of the, those different communications that you have with your customer and different ways to communicate with your customer. There is a separate tutorial that covers this Docs tab and also the Links tab, the Policies tab, and the Invoices tab all have uh, their own individual um, instruction videos. Um, but that gives you a glimpse at some of the more simple tabs uh, that do have a lot of information uh, that you can store for your customers um, in your forms boss.